Hi friends, in this session, I am going to explain about bookmarks and buttons in Power BI. This is one of important concept in Power BI visualization. If you are watching first time my video, please subscribe and like my channel and also share with your friends. Why? Because in this channel, I am providing complete training of Power BI from beginning level to advanced level and also interview questions, real time project explanation with scenario based monthly updates, much more updated in this channel. If you follow my classes from class 1, you will definitely will get the job and also easy to survive in real time environment. So in this video, we will deep dive about bookmarks and buttons in Power BI visualization. Let me explain what is bookmarks and buttons in Power BI. Let me go to my Power BI desktop. Let me connect to my SQL server. This is my SQL server name. If anybody watching first time my video, please check class number 3 and 4 because in class number 3 and 4, I clearly explain how to download and install AdventureWorks Data Warehouse 2017 and Northwind databases. If you practice these two databases, you will get familiar with the real world data. That's the reason why I'm telling. In this video, I am taking adventure works as an example. Okay, I am taking dim date, dim customer, dim geography, and at least one fact table. Fact internet sales. Okay, let me click on load. Don't worry, it won't take much time tables will be loaded depends on the memory of the table size while loading tables automatically it will detect the relationship between the tables and filter the data okay very important point to understand this one otherwise it's very difficult to prepare the dashboards and reports yes now my tables are loaded into the power bi desktop in memory okay first let me create two visuals and let me explain what is bookmarks okay now i am taking calendar year from the dim date table and sales amount from the fact internet sales let me come down sales amount now let me convert to table visual to better uh, display okay so while loading tables if that uh, column contains numbers automatically it will sums if you don't want you just select don't summarize okay now you can see year wise uh, sales amount now I want to format this table for better visibility purpose. Style bald header with flashy rows. I want to change column headers. I want to increase the size of the font. Okay. Now values values is nothing but these values will be changed so color is no problem for me i want to change text 14 is fine for me okay so If you come to properties you can see here totals totals if you want you can mention the totals otherwise you can close it now I want to make the title for this for bookmarking purpose I am uh, giving some title come down title in the title I want to give year by sales okay 
year wise sales absolutely fine for me come down so i want to align middle size is okay for me background color is uh, i want to take this color as background font color i want to make white and i want to make background color orange color now you can see the difference here okay alignment is center okay so now i have one visual is ready now i want to uh, create one more table uh, like uh, country wise sales so for that i will take english country region name from the dim geography table just mention at the empty space then take the column otherwise it will come here in this uh, present visual only okay now i will take total sales amount that's great now let me convert to table visual let me drag this okay now i want to uh, convert this as any column chart okay so now here you can see country wise sales okay now i want to do some changes i want to make the title so i want to make the title country wise sales sensible right font color you take i want to give white background color i want to give orange okay now you can see the clearly difference now i want um, center alignment is okay now you can able to see the uh, clear difference so if you want to do some okay this is fine for me so in real time they will tell they won't tell do bookmark and all so just they will give the requirement i have i, I want uh, buttons like I, if i click on uh, year wise sales button i want to display only year wise uh, sales details so if you have a country wise button so if you click on country wise button i want to display only country wise sales so this is the requirement for that we need to create the bookmarks first of all then we'll create the buttons for user friendly we need to create the buttons don't worry i will clear you this scenario go to the view option here you can see the bookmarks we don't have bookmarks any just select the bookmark now see there are no bookmarks just create the bookmarks first of all so double click it here you can i will mention year wise sales year sales fine for me okay one bookmark is there and i am creating one more bookmark country sales now we have two bookmarks and we need to select the selection pan okay now see here if i click if i click uh, year sales both displaying if i click country sales both displaying now my requirement is if i click on year sales only i, I need to uh, see year sales only see i don't want country sales then just hide this right click update it for country sales bookmarks i want to country sales i want to see i want to hide year sales right click update it okay now see if i click year sales only i can able to year wise sales if i click on uh, country sales only i can able to see country wise sales okay so this is nothing but bookmarking it's like bookmarking on the browser okay 
generally what we do bookmarks in the um, browser. So, this is not user friendly to make this user friendly we will create the buttons ok. Now, come down go to insert in the insert buttons. So, here blank you take blank button you can write anything. So, you just select the button and come down button text you give the button text whatever you like it ok. So, I will give uh, yearly year uh, wise sales ok. Now, if you want you can change the font color and the text size whatever you want ok. So, I am changing font color also mention blue want to change the background we can change the background also. So, there are lot of uh, options we have. Now, come to action you need to turn on the action what we need to do if I click on uh, year wise sales I want to display what I want to display in the uh, action button we need to select ok. Come down I want to bookmark. So, what is that bookmark? That bookmark is if I click on year by sales, year year sales bookmark I need to display. Ok, that is it fine. Ok, done. Now, I need to take one more button that is nothing but country by sales right. Come down buttons blank any button any want if you want any any name you can give it whatever they will give in the requirement sheet that we need to follow that ok just turn on the button text next come down so I will give country wise anything country sales country wise sales whatever you want so you want to change if you want to go for any color you can go for it ok now button name set so you want to increase the text it would be better ok now action you need to turn on action if I click country wise sales button what I need to do is I need to go for bookmark ok there are multiple options bookmark drill through page navigation q and a web your back also is there not required I want to go for the bookmark we have bookmark right that is the reason which bookmark you need to display country sales ok. If you need any tool tip you can give it I do not want any tool tip. Now, I have two bookmarks ok then see here control plus left click year wise sales only year wise sales I can see control plus left click only country sales uh, I can able to see ok this is fine for me ok, but I want one more requirement reset if I reset the page I want to uh, see all visuals in this page ok. For that we need to go to again view create one more bookmark that is nothing but reset ok. Now, go to selection pair for reset I want to display both ok country. So, I want to turn on both and come to reset turn off this what update it that is it. update it ok. Now, bookmark created and the selection pen also we update it. Now, close this. Now, take one more button we can copy paste this also or if you want to take one more button. Now, what I will do is I just simply control C and control V then just drag here 
now I can change this button text control A erase it okay now come down here action button under action button I want erase it okay either you can take a freshly button or you can use a copy paste if you copy paste the button size and color everything properties will be come like this only now see now if I click on reset both will come if I click on year by sales only year by sales you can see if I click on country by sales you can able to see only country by sales if I click on reset all visibles will display okay so in this way requirement they will give we need to achieve in this way okay thank you for watching my video if anybody wants a special training you can directly email to this email or you can directly call to this mobile number my whatsapp number also same number please comment in my 